Hey guys, it's Chris. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I should do it for a second. So I am here at in the parking lot. Um, I am going into the salon called the Green Tangerine for my first ever Brazilian, and I'm hoping to God they let me film this. So you guys come along with me. Okay, guys. So I am walking in to the spa. Um, yeah, this is like a really nice, and we can see this, we have a really nice, like, plaza here. It's really, 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 really nice. Um, this is where the Sephora is that I used to work at, so, um, it's really pretty. It's like one of those walk-around plazas, like, like, everything's outside, you know, and you just kind of, it's just really, really super quaint. They have, like, a fire pit and all this other stuff. So, this is the spa right here. It's actually, I guess it's like a hair salon and spa. I'm not sure, but um, we will soon find out. There's the sign. Where's the sign? There it is. So there's a sign. So we will soon find out if they will let me vlog. So yeah. Okay guys, so I'm in the spa and I have to get permission from Michelle as to whether or not I can vlog it. So. Maybe if I say, like, I won't get you, it's just my reaction, she'll let me do it. But I have paperwork that I have to fill out. So um, I'm going to do that, and I shall be back. Hey guys, I'm back. So unfortunately, they would not let me film in there. They said it was, like, liability issues or something like that. But let me tell you, it was not as bad as I thought it was going to be. The top area was, I think, the most painful. The rest of it was, most people worry about the back area, your back end, the back door area. That was nothing. Um, but the top area, maybe because it's more fatty, I don't know, but that area was more sensitive. Michelle was great. Michelle? Yes, Michelle. I'm like, let me make sure I got her name out right out. And I'm going to show you here what I got. This is the spa. It's called the Green Tangerine Spa and Salon. They have a bunch of them um, all over. So, and this is the website, green www.greentangerinespa.com. I got some ingrown hair stuff. Like this is supposed to has like micro exfoliants and stuff like that to help with ingrown hairs. If you, you know, you should get them, you put it on once a day. And then I had to pick this up this is the moroccan this is my holy grail hairspray moroccan oil medium the medium the finish the medium hold because it's literally this stuff will hold my curl for three days and i can sleep on it and it's just like absolutely amazing so i am now going to the post office because i have my giveaway packages to deliver and i'm sorry this vlog just just was not that great because i couldn't you know like actually vlog the actual procedure which was kind of stinky but i'm going to be definitely doing more of these if you guys want more of these give this video a thumbs up because i'm going to be doing car vlogs and that kind of stuff and yeah so not that bad guys anyone thinking of a brazilian like you can post questions down below if you want and i will answer them it was great you know she offered me two different kinds of waxes i'm like one's a soft wax and one's a hard wax and I was like, okay, like soft wax sounds better, right? It wasn't. And it was funny. I said, let's start with the soft wax. And my hair took better to the hard wax. So it's just kind of like, so what she was doing with the soft wax is she would pull it, but the hair wouldn't remove all that well. Try the hard wax. And she did. And she's like, nah, yeah, your, your hair is taking much more better to this, you know, for sure. So really cool. I mean, there's a little bit of redness, a little bit of swelling, but I mean, other than that, like nothing that I can notice, honestly, like I'm not in pain or anything like that. So I don't know. It was, like I said, it was pretty good. And they say that the maintenance is every four, like three to four weeks. And here at this salon, it's $50. And they said, well, I said, you must see so many people that like just never come back. Like, like they get it done the first time and they're like, forget it. Because there were a few spots that I was like, oh, like, you know, tears came to my eyes and I was kind of like started to sweat. I was like, okay, you know, but it's over so quick. So, it, you know, it's really not that bad. And she goes, oh yeah, we get like a ton of those, you know, of uh, people are like, no. And what's funny is she said the maintenance is not as bad. Like once you've done it, having it maintained is not nearly as bad so like that's the worst part is the first time is the worst part so this may be something that I continue to keep up I will have to ask Marin uh you know what he thinks obviously 
TMI, Chris's channel. But um, yeah, I'll see what he thinks. And if he really likes it, then, you know, I'm sure he'll foot the bill so I can keep it up. And let me see, do I have anything else to say? I don't. I just really don't. But if you got any questions, just post them down below. That You know, they do offer you like a little paper bikini if you want one. You know, I was like, I looked at it and went, really? Like, but I'm so not modest anyway. Anyone, if you guys, you guys know me by now. I'm so not modest anyway. So I was like, I don't need that little thing. Like, what's the point? Like, honestly, what's the point? You're going to see it all anyway. So, but anyway, if you have any questions, just post them down below and I'd be more than happy to answer them. You know me. I mean, you can get as descriptive as you want and I'll get as descriptive back. So it was cool. It was a really, really good experience. I'm happy that I did it. And yeah, so we'll just see how it goes she says it looks like she could just tell just by looking at my hair she said how do you usually you know use your hair hair removal i said i shave but as women obviously you know some areas are really hard to shave there i mean you know what i mean like down there it's like i shave everything off and or try to in some areas you got to be really careful with that razor because you know it's really kind of hard to get in there and you know you always miss spots and everything like that so it's really kind of cool it's, it's, it sounds kind of weird but it's kind of cool to have someone all up in your business where they can see and get every single hair you know what i mean like so you don't you know you're not doing these weird contortionist things trying to you know and then cut yourself like how many times have we done that like oh my god and that's horrible so it was it was a really really good experience it really is something that i would consider doing they like just maintaining really would um but she could tell just by my hair and she said she actually said i have some olive to my skin tone and i was like i don't know if that's the color of my if that's because that's the color of my vijay <laughs> or what i was like we were i was we were laughing because we were just talking about skincare and stuff like that and i was like really i'm like porcelain porcelain but i must have gold undertones because i always thought i had pink undertones but you know some people tell you pink some people tell you gold you know or golden or whatever and i'm just like you know so i normally go with neutral because i think i have a little of both yeah she's like you kind of have a little because i was telling her that you know i'm i'm half italian and like my hair is Italian like so my hair growth is Italian my hair consistency my hair thickness darkness all that stuff is Italian that I get that from my dad and then I get you know the skin that just burns which is from my mom <laughs> from the Irish side so yeah she, so she was saying you know you do have some olive in your skin and I was like oh I've never heard that before so I don't know if she was talking about that skin or just all over but anyway it was, it was she was really really professional really nice but she was hysterical like that's how what I need there was a few pe people in there that were very very professional like super duper professional and I told her I said you know it was funny because when I went on the website itself I could book it straight from the website like I didn't have to call anybody make an appointment I could just make an appointment off the website so it was super duper easy then it said pick your you know esthetician or whatever they gave a bunch of names and I'm like but there were no bios there were nothing there was nothing that told me about these people so I was sort of like I've never been there before so I'm like oh I don't know I'm like Michelle sounds like a good name I, I, I it was I think it was the first person on the list I have no idea she said she's gonna be getting some business cards so I gave her my phone number and she gave me her phone number and like we really hit it off so that was really super cool so anyway thank you Michelle um and I'm sure Marin's gonna be thanking you and I will be back to see her at some point um unfortunately I won't be able to do one of those hey I got a Brazilian wax um you know where it, it they shows it they where it shows it because if i want to go continue to go to the salon they don't allow it but um you know i don't actually blame them they said for liability purposes um you know but i wanted to go there because it's not a sketchy place it's not dirty it's not like i had i had walked in there before and asked to see the waxing area and it's super duper clean it's a spot area it's away from everything else it's just so I knew right away because you know like you can go to the nail salon and get a Brazilian and I was just like but if you've ever seen them it's like no 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 so this was super this was really really right but any questions guys post them down below I'll be happy to answer them and I'm sorry you guys didn't get to see my pain but actually I kind of nervously just shattered the whole time which was kind of funny because there were some times where she would pull a strip and I'm like I don't know if she was actually using strip. I think she was using 
not a strip, I think she was using, um, I think the hard wax and then she just pulls the wax itself. I'm trying to talk and she's pulling and I'm like, oh my God, okay, what was I saying? Like I would totally lose my train of thought. But post your questions down below and I will answer them to the best of my ability. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.